Let's talk about customer deposits, sometimes called customer prepayments. Peastree allows us to receive a prepayment from a customer and then to later invoice it. Prepayments and customer deposits are commonplace and you need to understand how to record them properly in Peachtree. Let's begin by recording the prepayment. Let's come in here to tasks and come down to receipts. Let's assume that today is March the 1st and our customer Coleman Realty came in and gave us a prepayment for $184.29. We want to come here to the Apply to Revenues tab and check the box for prepayment. Enter the amount $184.29. In the reference cell, let's enter their check number, $1429. That's all we need to do to record the prepayment. Let's save this transaction and let's go look at their customer record. We'll close this window. Let's go to accounts receivable and let's look at the customer ledger. Let's pull up Coleman Realty. And we can see here we have a cash receipt journal of 184.29. Let's also look at an age receivables report for them as of right now. Let's choose exact date, March 1st, for Coleman Realty. You can see here we're showing a negative amount of 184.29. We had a beginning balance at the end of March, or at the beginning of March of 57.20. So right now their balance is 127.09. Let's go back to the ledger. Now, let's assume that it's March 11th, and we deliver the products and invoice them. Let's look at this invoice. Here it is, March 11th, and we cut them an invoice just like we normally would, whether or not they gave us a prepayment or deposit or not. We still invoice them the same way. So we invoice them for the 184.29. The next and final thing we need to do is apply the prepayment to this invoice. Let's close this window and let's go into receipts. So right when we cut the invoice and we see that there's a prepayment, we immediately come here to receipts, open the receipts window, and pull up the customer. Here we can see the prepayment on this line and the invoice on this line. Now we simply apply the payment and the invoice to each other, thereby, thereby giving us a zero receipt amount. Applied prepayment 101. And that applies this prepayment to this invoice. Before we save this, let's look at an age receivables report. Let's change this to the end of the month and click OK. Now we see that there's a prepayment and an outstanding invoice. So until we apply this prepayment to this invoice, these will both remain on the age receivables report. So let's go back to the receipts window. Once we save this receipt, where we applied the prepayment to the invoice. Now we go back to the age receivables report 
and we can see that the prepayment and the age receivable are now off the report because they've been applied to each other. And that's how to handle customer deposits and prepayments. Now if the amount were, were different than the 184.29, let's say that they had given us a deposit for $100, then Peachtree would reflect that the balance is still owed here. We still would use the same process.